All right, welcome back to our series of creating virtual galleries, exhibits, and museums using the Art Steps website. Now, I've already logged back in again. And in this case, I don't want to click Create because we've been working on an existing gallery. Now, you might wonder, how do you get to your designs? Great question. Go to the top right-hand corner and click on the drop-down next to your name, or initials in my case. Go to Profile and you'll see all of the exhibits that you've either published, like these two on the right, or I'm going to go straight to this one that we started working on in the previous video and click on Edit. If there are any you don't want to keep anymore, they were just for practice, you can delete them. So I'm going to go to Edit, and there it is. Now, in the previous video, we worked on defining your space. Now let's go to Design Your Space. So right now, Art Steps has gone with some default colors and textures for my design, and we're going to play around with those. But first, I wanted to show you the Switch View button. It's in the top left corner. I'm hovering over it now, and I'm going to click on that. And this lets you just take a look around at your exhibit from a different angle. We'll, we'll click on a door, though, and you'll notice we're really not taking a tour in this case. I can click on it to open the door, and then I can go inside. So now that we're inside, let's take a look at the space. Let's play around with some colors. So I'm going to look over at the colors palette in the top left corner, and maybe I want the wall to be black. When I select a color, you'll notice that the cursor then changes to a paint roller, and I can change that wall color. You can change the colors of individual walls to make them more interesting, or I'm using left click to navigate around. You could have them all be the same color. That is up to you, friends. You are the designer. Now, we can also work with textures. So let's take a look at the textures palette down below. And let's see, let's navigate in here. I'm going to click on this wall. Actually, let me get a better texture here, one that's really obvious. There's some stone. So there, I can change the texture of the floor, change the wall textures to match. I'm going to switch view. And you'll see that I can also do the same thing from the bird's eye view. And I'm not limited to what's inside the museum. If I'd like to add some grass outside, I can add that. If I would like to change the face of the exterior of the museum, I can add some texture there as well. Now, you can also upload your own texture images if you wish, or you can work with the nice collection that they have. And remember, as we're working, it's a great idea every so often to click Save. So. That covers the second tab, which is adding colors and textures to your space. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please jump ahead to the next video where we'll talk about adding in images, artifacts, and the rest of the goodies to your museum. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.